should have guessed. The police have sealed the door. I've gotta find another way. The cops could have at least brought the sign back in with them. A hydrant, just like any other one. I don't see anything special about it. If this place ever burns down, I'll be the guy holding the match. <sighs> Crap. The back door's locked, too. I've got to think of something. How do I get into the house without breaking the seal? I need another way into the building. Breaking the police seal is taboo. Yep, that could be my way into the house. I can get into the basement through the light well. I've just got to get rid of this grill first. It looks very heavy and it's rusted into the concrete. The window is barred. The bars seem pretty strong and are bricked into the wall. I'll tie the rope to the window grill and the basement grill. I've knotted the end tightly and the rope should be able to take a big load. What now? Hey, if it worked in ancient Egypt, it should work here. My private doorway to Fuller's realm. Beaten by a centuries-old technique. Shame on you. Fuller's secret door is behind this photographic screen. But it could cause some trouble with the cops if I bust it. There has to be some kind of a knack to getting the clips to open. That's got it. The clips are off and the screen's gone up. Battered looking numeric pad with small metal buttons. I guess that you have to enter a code to open the door. When you stand here, it feels like, uh, like, like what? Something like when you when you see in the dock and he has you stand on a set of mechanical weighing scales. Everything slides slightly back and forth. The floor gives a little as you stand on it. Could it really be a set of scales? Would that fit in with a secret door? Aha, I knew it. 
if it really is a kind of scale, then it could measure Fuller's weight while he tapped in the secret number into this pad, and the door would only open when the two matched. Pretty well thought through, for sure. Oh, for me, there's the problem that I have no idea how heavy Fuller is. I've got to find that out if I want to make progress here. with my slide projector. Don't worry, I've got it here. Is it broken? No, but old and battered as ever. What do you need the projector for anyway? You're blind. You just look after your own junk. Have you heard what happened to Fuller? Sure. The police was here. Wanted to know if I heard anything. Did you? I got ears like a lynx, but it was raining. When the rain falls on that tin roof out my window, I can't hear nothing else. The police have arrested an innocent woman. It happens. I'm gonna prove that she's innocent. Is she that pretty? She's damn pretty. But, but that's not why I'm doing it. Whatever. You would have helped a 60-year-old wrinkly bitty in just the same way. But it don't matter in the end. The strong gotta help the weak. It's your duty to get her out of there. Will you help me? If I can. Do you know this man? You wanna play me for a sucker? Oh, uh, sorry. An empty package. <sighs> Looks like someone's unpacked the shipment here and left the packaging. Some people. I've closed up the package again. You can't see that it's already been opened. Hey, Rosie. Hard at work, I see. What do you want? What can you tell me about the hotel down the coast? The Wild Coast? Belongs to an old town family. Been there for about a hundred years. It's a well-run place. Doesn't do badly. Bit boring, though. No scandals? The owner doesn't get on too well with his son. He's hanging out in Portland. Some kind of musician. But exactly what? I don't know. And anything else? There's an illegal card game up there sometimes. The cops don't bother with it, though. Why'd they do that? How should I know? The chief probably plays with them. Have you already heard what happened to Fuller? Hmm. Isn't that something? I know, right? Alas, something's happening here. A bloody murder in the middle of the night? A suspicious foreign lady? Who knows what's gonna come out of all this? Maybe the suspicious foreign woman is innocent and has been wrongly arrested. Oh, yeah. And the killer is still on the loose and is gonna kill again. Oh, yeah. Maybe a, a souvenir shop employee. That's not funny. You shouldn't joke about that. Do you know this man? Has he got something to do with the Fuller murder? Of course. I can see it now. That's a real criminal face. You know him or not? Never seen him. Then not. Thanks. 
Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Yes, please? What do you reckon? Who do you think murdered Fuller? Well, the cops already have a suspect. That's crazy. It wasn't her. I hope so, too. And I also hope they keep it quiet about where she was staying. And that's all you're worried about? Now listen here. My whole family's welfare depends on this hotel. You know what my daughter's tuition fees in Switzerland cost? There's an innocent girl sitting in jail. That interests me more than your daughter's college fees. Forgive me, you're right. But if Miss Morgan is innocent, which is what we all assume, then the truth will soon come to light. Oh, I'll bring it to light, all right. Whatever it costs. Do you know that Angelina's been arrested? I... <laughs> can't tell you anything about that. But you do know. Look, Darren, this is a family hotel. I understand. Can I have a quick look around in Miss Morgan's room? Absolutely not. Even if I were to let something slip out to the press? I'm not going to be blackmailed. And anyway, the newspaper belongs to my brother-in-law. Hmm. Nice for you. I saw the card and the flowers that you sent my mother. Oh, well, that was a given. As I hear it, isn't she any better? Seems there's not much kept private round here. Well, my wife is a friend of the doctor's wife. After all, one worries about people, doesn't he? Would you let me know then when my mother's condition starts to improve? Sorry? Was this guy here again yesterday? You mean the one who was asking about Miss Morgan? Yes, I saw him the one time through the window. He was headed towards town. Where was he coming from? I can't tell you exactly. Somewhere from around the beach, I'd say. Well, can you keep your eyes peeled? I believe he's caught up in all this. In the murder? For sure. He was following Angel uh, Miss Morgan, and now he's framed her for the murder. Well, <laughs> what are things coming to? What kind of folks are running around in our lovely little Biddeford these days? Have the cops sealed off Miss Morgan's room? They were here first thing this morning. Got me out of bed, they did. I was worried that they'd pull the whole room apart. Took a whole lot of photos and fingerprints. <laughs> you know, like in a movie. But they didn't. The captain had a look around the room, made a few notes, and told me that nothing should be touched. But after ten minutes, he was off again, without, without taking anything with him. So are they coming back again? I, I don't know. I didn't get the feeling that the captain was looking for anything in particular. He just wanted to take a look around. So there could definitely still be clues hidden in the room. I need to be able to get a look around in there. And I'll be a lot more thorough than the captain. The weather isn't going to be suiting to your guests. Oh, yeah, well, there's not much going on anyway. The change in the weather was already announced. And to be honest, right now I'm quite happy that there's not so many guests in the hotel. You know why. What with the... Uh, incident.
clues in the trash, huh? Huh. It's worth a try. Oh, man, that stinks. So, what have we got here? Ugh, trash bags with leftovers. Packaging. Paper towels. Hey! Some torn up pieces of paper. That really might be interesting. Those are the paper snippets out of the trash can at the diner. Let's see if I can put them back together.
Yeah, I think it's a letter from Fuller to Mrs. Biber. Maybe even the one I stuck in her hand yesterday? Dearest Claire, I'm a little disappointed that you don't, don't come, come to visit me anymore. Don't you miss our time together at all? All the fun we had? Take a look at the pictures. You look so happy and contented. Don't you think so too? I tell you that was some kind of fun we had too. And you just can't bring yourself to admit it. Are you worried about it getting out? Well, it would be too embarrassing, wouldn't it? A married businesswoman has to watch her reputation. What would the folks say? What would your husband do with you? It would be a scandal. But I'll protect you from it. Me and 15 Ben Franklin stand between you and shame. I'll expect the, uh, bonus this evening. Bring it to me, and I'll enjoy myself with your pictures for a few more weeks. F. Hmm. Huh. That's at least evidence that Fuller was blackmailing Mrs. Biber. Fifteen Ben Franklins is fifteen hundred bucks. But is that gonna be enough for the cops? They're gonna ask her what he was blackmailing her with. And if they ask her, Biber will deny everything. I've got to find out what Fuller was using to blackmail her. And I'm sure that the answer is behind that secret door. Mrs. Biber? So where was your husband last night? Yeah, and what's that got to do with you? What's that with him and Fuller? I'm asking you. Haven't you heard what's happened to Fuller? Yes. But... I don't want to talk about it. Why not? You hated him. Maybe your life will be a bit easier now without him around anymore. How can you say that? He's been murdered. You're making it look like I wanted that to happen to him. Did you then? No. After everything he did to you. What... What do you know about that? Oh, a little. Nothing. You don't know a thing. And if there is anything, you save it for yourself. Or what? The same thing that happened to Fuller will happen to me? Get out. Sorry, Mrs. Biber? This weird guy, uh, the one who bumped into me yesterday, have you seen him again? The guy from yesterday? Sure, I think I'd remember him. This guy. Oh, him. Nope. I haven't seen him again since he was in here questioning me. What did he want? He was asking after Miss uh, So-and-so. Miss Angelina Morgan? Could be. And you haven't seen him again? Nope. Will you tell me if you do? Maybe. So friendly. So, are 15 Ben Franklins enough of a motive for murder? What? The $1,500 you had to pay Fuller. Get out of here. You just can't... You don't... Have any evidence? Could be I do. It's about time the truth got shook out. I didn't murder Fuller. Where were you when it happened? So now you're a cop. Would you prefer it if I go to the cops on this? I was at home. Alone? With my husband. I believe you. That shiner you have there says it all. A girl I know is being suspected of having killed Fulla. I'm sorry about that. If she was lured into a trap, she has no motive. She also wasn't being blackmailed. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Was Fuller blackmailing anyone else? Did anyone else have a motive apart from you? Oh, you got nerve. 
I wasn't being blackmailed. Listen, I'm sorry about what happened to your friend. But if she's not guilty, then she won't be held for long now, will she? And I don't know anything about blackmail. Huh. So you don't want to help me get an innocent girl out of jail? I... I can't. Sorry, Mrs. Biber? What's happened to your eye? Let me guess, you fell down the stairs. I... Yes. And your husband was standing at the bottom doing his boxing training. What's this got to do with you? I just don't understand it. H how often does this happen? Not often. Just... sometimes. Maybe you ought to move to a bungalow. Without stairs. Yeah, you think you can give me advice? You married? You trade in your pride when you do that? You've never been in love. If you had, you'd never ask that. Okay, what do you want to drink? Is it too early for a whiskey? What do you think? I don't want to bother her while she's working. Dr. Newhouse from the hospital. Oh, excuse me, the health center. Excuse me, Dr. Newhouse. Hello, yes? So, uh, are the cops in Biddeford any good? How do you mean that? Do you trust them to find the killer? I'm sure they'll do their best. Oh, right. We've never had a case like this before. Oh, so you don't reckon it's such a bad thing if they've got the wrong person, since they still have to practice? I'm sure that the captain will solve the case. As I understand it, there's also a department in the health center for the less mobile... a morgue. <laughs> yes. That's right, this is a small town. We doctors at the health center are also responsible for checking corpses. So don't you have to have special training for that? If there's even just the slightest sign of a crime, then we get an experienced pathologist over from Portland. So that means that Fuller still hasn't been looked at. Right now, we're waiting for the pathologist. We've only prepared him. Do the nurses sometimes stick their fingers in the deceased's personal effects? Outrageous! Of course not. These things are properly stored away in the morgue, as they should be. Thank you. So, how was Old Fuller killed then? Oh, I, I'm afraid I'm not allowed to tell you anything. They're still investigating. What? You think I'd tell the press? I did used to work for him, and I'd like to know what happened. Well, okay then. He was stabbed. And more exactly? He was stabbed nearly a dozen times. Not a nice sight. Did he bleed to death? Not necessarily. Could have been shock. Could well have been that some vital organs were injured. Huh. So looks like Fuller had a pretty free choice of how he checked out. Somebody wanted to cover all the bases for him. Darren, you, you really shouldn't speak of the dead like that. I'm not interested in the dead. I'm interested in the murderer. Have you ever seen this guy? He was in the hospital yesterday. In the hospital? I don't think I saw him. Why did you ask the nursing sister? He was here in the diner, too. Huh. That's right. I think he was talking to Mrs. Biber. Did you notice anything else? Afraid not. Well, it seems that the porter at the Wild Coast Hotel is remarkably well informed about my mother's condition. Sorry? Your wife rather likes to chat with his? Oh, that, uh... I'm sorry about that, Darren. I... I've already told my wife on many occasions that she shouldn't talk about patients with her lady friends. But more exactly, your wife oughtn't to know a damn thing about these patients anyway, yes? Yes. If only it were that simple. It, it, it won't happen again. So, uh, a crazy good time guy like yourself can surely tell me where all the action is here in Biddeford? 
<laughs> Dear me, no. <laughs> you got me wrong there. I could perhaps give you a few tips on which are the most interesting evening courses at the community center. Uh, no thanks. I'll pass on that one. I thought you might. Hey, we do put on a disco for young folks every two weeks. But I suspect you've rather grown out of all that, too. I don't think I was ever that age. Discos, bars, parties. I was never into that sort of thing. Your mother mentioned that. You were rather more of a loner, yes? I have no idea where she got that from. Oh, excuse me. I didn't intend to. So, to sum up then, in Biddeford, you're best off being over 50 or dead. Might just suit me. What? Be being over 50? Yeah, exactly. What can you tell me about Mrs. Biba? And do you know her husband? Oh, well. Now, a person shouldn't speak ill of others, but her husband, that. He's a very unpleasant fellow. He was a big deal in the football team at high school. And Mrs. Biba married him young. Yes, I think she imagined her life turning out some other way. Like how? Now, she works hard in the diner. She probably does the work of about three people. But I don't think it makes a great deal of money. And her husband, well, uh, yeah, let's leave it at that. They certainly don't have a lot of money, just a lot of work. And no love. Uh-huh. Well, that's it for now, I guess. If you've got any more things you want to ask, eh, just come and find me. I don't want to bother her while she's working. Hi. Hello, Mr. Michaels. What can I do for you? How's my mother today? No change. Her vital signs are all okay, but she is still comatose like before. So, we can only wait. It looks that way. Has the guy who inquired about my mother been here again? No, at least not on my shift. And please, can you tell the other nurses that they should keep an eye out for this guy? The police are looking for him. I know. The police faxed through a photo fit picture. Good. You heard what happened to Fuller? Oh, yes. Beatrix told me. They brought him in here this morning, covered in blood. Did you know Fuller? Not personally. What do you mean by that? I'd heard of him. You... you... Okay, listen. I'll tell you. As a woman, it wasn't an especially good idea to have your picture taken by him. Why not? He was a creep. And was not supposed to be able to keep his hands to himself. That sort of thing gets around, of course. Thanks very much for the information. No problem. standing here in front of my mother who's lying in a coma and all I can think of is her lying to me about her accident. Just what kind of a person am I? <sighs> all right then, I'll take that heavy thing with me. There are a few cables hanging down the side of the unit, mostly to the sensors attached to my mother. I don't need much more. Uh, ex excuse me! 
This area is only for staff. You're not allowed in there. Oh, uh, excuse me. I, I didn't know that. I've got to distract the nurse somehow. She won't let me in there. The machine only monitors my mom's vital functions, so it doesn't matter if I loosen the cable here. There's a delivery note for liquid soap. Perhaps the delivery note will be of use. I'll take it. Yes. Um, hello. Are you delivering something? Yes. <sighs> Delivery note. <laughs> Whatever. The package? I've got it here. Okay. Can I go in now? No, you can't. Where's your pass? My what? Your visitor's pass? You have to get a visitor's pass back there. Oh, come on. What is this garbage? I just want to take my package to the mortuary. And you need a pass to do that. You're enjoying this, aren't you? You could say so. I'd think about that if I were you. Dr. Newhouse? Yes. What's that ID you're wearing there? It's from the hospital. Don't they know you're a doctor there? <laughs> they can't have that many staff. <laughs> I said the same thing to the admin people. <laughs> but Dick, the security guard, insists on it. He's, he's very <laughs> meticulous. And apparently can't recognize faces. Can you tell me something about the security guy at the hospital? I find him kind of interesting. He used to be a police officer. He was, uh... <laughs> there were a few problems. So, when he couldn't be a police officer anymore, he became a security guard. Where do you know him from? He was in the diner yesterday. Oh, all right. But strange as it may seem, I believe he lives for his job. He lives for that? being a security guy. He takes his job very seriously. Sometimes too seriously. Hmm. Well, that's it for now, I guess. If you've got any more things you want to ask, then just come and find me. Sorry, Mrs. Biba? Hey, um, can I get a pot of coffee? On its way. Hot, hot. Oh man, sorry. It was an accident. Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> Your thoughts are elsewhere.
Oh, give it here, Dr. Newhouse. I'll rinse out the stain. Thanks. No harm meant. No damage. <laughs> I just gotta keep it cool. Now that's what I call a serious coffee stain. And the ID badge is still pinned to the lab coat. So now I've got some ID. Excellent. The security guy at the morgue surely won't expect it that closely. 